In my last videos, we walked on fire, rock climbed over the Mediterranean, and even hiked for 10 hours using only a hand-drawn map and compass to find my way home. But today's adventure is going to be even crazier. I'm going to try something that I've attempted and failed at hundreds of times. Yes, you guessed it. I'm gonna complete the most unusual, the craziest, the most challenging crossword puzzles of all time. Whatever you do, don't do this. Don't do it. <laughs> hey, I'm John. And when I became the number one lawyer under 30, I realized I wasn't living the life I dreamed of as a kid. So I quit, embarking on a mission to rediscover myself, and now I'm completing a crazy bucket list around the world, all to prove it's never too late to start living the life you were destined for. My bucket list isn't just filled with crazy adventures, it's filled with regular stuff too. And one thing I've never done is complete a full crossword puzzle. When I was in college, I tried hundreds and failed. And it was like those blank squares were mocking me. Like <laughs> looking at me and being like, John, <laughs> you just ain't smart enough, you can't do it. All of that changes today. <laughs> all right, to build up to the hardest crossword of all time, we have to first complete the easiest crosswords. Our time starts now. All right. Control, blank, delete. You know it, you love it. You old it. <laughs> One word done. Abbreviated country. There's a lot of those. A lot of them. Family. So let's do a down. Let's jump to seabird. Oh, an albatross or something, right? An albi. A bossy. <laughs> Family could be kin. Let's be systematic about this. This is why I'm bad at crosswords. I just jump around all the place. So you gotta have a strategy. Okay. 14th century poetry style. Lip. Lip. Lop. Lep. Lap. Lan. Don't know. This was supposed to start a little bit easier. I'm a stumped, so we're gonna look up one just for help, that's it. We're gonna look up 14th century poetry styles. And this is our one clue, we're gonna fill in the rest because we're geniuses. Oh boy, didactic, sapiential. Who wrote this? Jeez, this is, this is tough. We're looking up, so John A. McDonald's bill. <gasps> Let me show you this. McDonald was the first Prime Minister of Canada and one of the architects of Canada's Confederation. And he's on the 10. All right, so three down is T E N. Yes, 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 yes. That I think means that three across is kin. Oh, we are getting there. A seabird is a sea. Ask, ark, a alk. I know when to accept defeat. We'll win the next one. Up next, the first crossword puzzle ever made. Yep, that's right, you heard me. The first crossword was published on the fun page of the New York World on December 21st, 1913. It was invented by British journalist Arthur Wynne, who emigrated to the US in the 1890s. And so here we are transporting ourselves back into 1913 into good old Arthur's mind as we attempt the first crossword puzzle made in history. All right, let's do this. Which has gotta be, We're getting somewhere with this one. It just, it looks weird. R to move, to govern. I'm feeling pretty good about this, except if I don't get this right, then does that mean I'm not smarter than someone? Okay. 
All right, so we really tried on that one. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Like we got m like a little bit more than half. Honestly, we could have got a little bit more, but I truly got stumped on that one, especially dove showing up twice. A pigeon's a dove. Maybe back a hundred years ago, your pigeons with doves. Right now, they're different birds, man. Right? They are, right? Right? The New York Times has made a strange shaped crossword puzzle. We may have failed at three of our four crosswords already, but it all changes now. Okay, new rule. We can look up five clues and answers to them. We got 30 minutes on the clock for this one. This is the one, my friends. While most crossword grids are square, this one has an ingenious reason for being elongated. This may be my favorite Monday puzzle of all time. Proving that easy can also be a wow. Will Shorts, thank you so much for that amazing quote. You know, there's a method to the madness here. First, we did the short, the smallest crossword puzzles of all time, just pulled from the internet. Then we dove back into history and did the first crossword ever conceived. And now we're in the bread and butter, the New York Times of crosswords but with a unique twist on this one. Can you see my eyebrows? Blood type, we got four, could be like A, neg, O negative, is that, is that body parts that might be pierced, could be earlobes. It led to a 1773 Boston party. I'm thinking T-Tacks. F makes you so special, eight, hmm? The bucket, this has to be completely this one. We got this, we got this. Center yourself, Joan. The United States of Ham. Wait, what? Uh oh. The last letter, a German direction. Ost. Woo! I'm tired. <laughs> Same level of excitement as you did. Oh. <laughs> you did well then. That was fun. Crossword complete. If anyone wants to fact check if I got everything right, please do so and let me know in the comments. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves. For the ultimate challenge, the enigma, the legend, the crossword puzzle that has been whispered about in hushed tones for ages. They say it is so diabolically tough that even the bravest souls might falter. Meet Mark Brennan, the mind behind the riddle of riddles. He claims it's a staggering 100 times harder than any of the 30,000 puzzles he's made in the past. And other crossword creators? They're throwing up their hands, calling it mind-boggling, and the Mount Everest of crosswords. And what is the trickiest clue within the hardest crossword, you ask? Good question, good question. I will show you soon. Unlike your everyday crosswords, where you can consult a thesaurus or Google to get the answers, this cryptic conundrum demands experience and a mind that can bend in unusual ways. Completing it will take a person 100 times longer than the average crossword puzzle, which places it at a draw dropping two years. You've now seen how good I am at crossword puzzles. I've completed one. I think I am unstoppable. There's nothing holding me back from completing. How many pages is this? Wait, this doesn't... Oh no. Um, okay, this is super long. Okay, new goal. Our goal is to get one answer on the world's hardest crossword. Also, I'm gonna drop a link to this. If anyone wants to try this, be my guest. Put in some random words, and we're gonna see if this can help us just get one right. 24, what Nietzsche wrote about rates and capital. Oh no. Old rallying point in old TV series with no middle or end. Oh boy. Elizabethan has to get a regular start, not uniform. Fuss about a large bear, we can do that. What's a fuss about a large bear? Horse. Doesn't even make sense. That's not the right one, that's six. Cross. 
I've looked up the answers, or at least for some guy who thinks he has the answers, and I can't even get one even close, even with cheating. Do I recommend that you do this puzzle? No. Please do anything else with your life. Fall in love. Laugh. Eat a donut. Have fun. Find a hobby. Just don't do this. Whatever you do, don't do this. Don't do it. <laughs> this will be the biggest regret of your life if you try this puzzle. What is the letter I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of the letter. <laughs> Time! All right, so we completed two puzzles. Pay no mind to the one of them having only one box. Pay no mind to the second one, me having to look up five clues. And instead, I want you to remember that life is like a crossword puzzle. That as you go through it, you'll piece together the mysteries of your life. And soon you'll see that it becomes a tapestry of knowledge and information and experiences that come together and join in such a unique way. No, I'm just kidding. Crossword puzzles suck. See ya.